Hi guys, this is Lucas with Carlo Precision and this will be a very quick tutorial on how to bring in a drawing file into Magnet Field. So I have Magnet Field loaded on my computer. Uh, I have a demo version but uh, ignore the demo version request. What I'll do is I'll create a brand new job, call it drawing file or something similar, doesn't matter. Uh, let's hit next verify that I'm using the right equipment I am uh, the most important part here is you need to make sure that whatever drawing file you receive is georeferenced and that georeferencing uh, is to a state so in my case the drawing that I will be showing is a Delaware uh, georeference drawing file uh, if you don't see your um, state over here obviously you can always add it from the little you know menu over here in the USA but again now you're uh, it's up to you uh, knowing which state you're actually inserting the data from or importing the drawing from in my case again it is Delaware so I don't have to change it uh, if you're connecting to our DiCarlo network or the TopNet Live uh, network with your GPS uh, make sure that your datum says net 83 no trans uh, that will prevent uh, issues in the future. Um, geoid model also is loaded, so I will have ground elevations. So that's correct. Uh, I can hit next. Next, you need to be aware of what units the drawing file is in. Uh, if it is in meters, obviously you can change it, but typically US feet is what uh, an engineer or surveyor will give you as far as a drawing file. So US feet is correct. Let me hit next. Uh, over here, this is another uh, important one. Uh, occasionally, you might get a drawing file that's uh, laid out in the east-north uh, height uh, direction. Over here, most surveyors do northeast height direction. So this should be uh, set properly to uh, what your engineer or the surveyor actually uh, shared with you. So I can hit the green check over here. Uh, upon starting the file, that's called drawing file. You can go into the map view and you'll see that there's actually nothing in uh, view over here so this is the uh, time when you want to import your data so I'll go into exchange I'll go into from file and because the drawing file is pretty much uh, line work you can hit lines over here and then if you don't have DWG selected as a drawing file um, you want to select AutoCAD drawing in the drop down hit next and then browse to your folder where your drawing is. I happen to here have it on my D drive and there's a, a folder called DWG and XML. So I'll highlight my DWG, hit the green check. And once again, uh, unless you have specified something different in your initial uh, dialog for your job, do not change any of these settings over here so that it falls into the right location. If you have the right file format, um, the software will import your drawing and uh, if it is correct you want to always verify that it actually loaded it up into the map so I'll go into map view if I don't see the actual uh, drawing here what you can do is typically you can just hit the little zoom extends button and the software should zoom into uh, the entity that you imported which in this case is a drawing file so uh, if there are certain things that are not showing up, you may want to uh, verify that all your layers are turned on. And you can kind of cycle through uh, the different layers over here. And I even turn certain ones on and off. And you can see that they're actually actively being uh, uh, turned off and on in my drawing. But my drawing, as far as I'm concerned, is in here. If um, I want to keep on checking if everything's correct, well, what I recommend next is you need to have uh, access to the internet on the, the device that you're import importing the drawing file into. Go into your map properties over here, go into your backgrounds, and load up the background map. If this uh, is blank, you can always hit the little triple dot here and actually select your uh, the choice of your map that you want, but I usually use Bing Hybrid. Uh, make sure that it is checked. When you, it is checked, then hit the green check. And what the software should do is pull in the actual background imagery. And in this case, it actually does look like it is in the right place. So I know that the drawing file that I imported is a georeferenced and that I can carry on uh, connecting to my GPS device and actually go out and do my uh, topography or my stakeout uh, on the map and with a drawing file in the background. Um, 
that's it for bringing in a drawing file. Hopefully this was uh, a little bit helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know below. Thanks.